yo, Z King Fight News, let's talk about Dillian White and how he just might return in December on the Anthony Joshua undercard where he squares off against Andy Ruiz. Dillian White just might get a Michael Hunter. It's E King Fight News, man. We got more on this. Hey, yo. Back in the building, man. Dillian White, who still hasn't spoken on the drug testing that has happened for the Oscar Rivas fight. We know he tested positive for something. We know there's a B sample that hasn't been released. And we also know, regardless of all of that, Eddie Hearn wants to get him back in the ring. Now, there wouldn't be a more perfect place to get Dillian back in the ring is where they ha happen to have a location that doesn't have a boxing commission. That's Saudi Arabia. Right? No boxing commission out there. So they can definitely have Dillian White square off against anybody out there. Um, I, if that fight goes down with Dillian White, I'd like to see it against Alexander Povetkin. That's the fight I want to see. I wouldn't want to see a Michael Hunter square off against Dillian White. So Michael Hunter is a small heavyweight. He's, a, he's, he's pretty much prospect status to me. Still trying to make a name for himself. If he wants to break into the top five, maybe that's a, a route to go. If you want to make a statement, yeah, yeah, I'm the guy that beat Dillian White. But who knows what, what Dillian White's really been taking. And who knows if there would be actual drug testing if he were to be fighting in Saudi Arabia. Those are the questions that need to be asked. Especially if you're a Michael Hunter in line for a fight on an on a AJ undercard. You know, do you want to fight Pavekin? Maybe, maybe they'll ask Dillian White out and make Michael Hunter versus Alexander Pavekin. Right? Then again, better make sure he's fucking drug tested. That's why I'd rather have Pavekin and Dillian White. If, the, if, the, if Dillian White's gonna, gonna be fighting, you might as well fight Pavekin. Because then the juice will just cancel each other out. It's very simple. You know, that shit will just cancel out and then we got a good fight on our hands. But, Dillian White's in a weird position. Because, uh, guess what? WBC hasn't taken him off the rankings. They've given him a clean, nice little pass for Dillian White. Nice little pass for Dillian White. Mauricio Suleiman rocking the Let's Go hat. Some Dillian White gear. And honestly, I mean, this is state of boxing, man. Guys that, guys that pay their fees, you know, and Dillian White's paid a whole lot of sanctioning fees. Going all the way back to that silver title when he beat Robert Hellenius been paying a lot of sanctioning fees he's been in that rankings you know I don't want to say he's been mandatory for 700 days and Dillian White's been claiming this shit but he's been paying sanctioning fees for 700 days strong <laughs> I'll, I'll say that much so WBC's been making some decent bread off of Dillian White so do you expect the WBC to then turn around and say, oh, you know what? We're going to have to remove you from the rankings. <laughs> when they've probably made something of at least 500k off, off of Dillian White alone. And all them sanctioning fees. Maybe even more. Right? The WBC is getting, what, 5 or 10% of a purse? That's over a million dollars. Hey. Uh, and, and you get that for every fight Dillian White has been doing for the past how long? 700 days, that's that's at least two years. So it adds up, man. It all adds up. Uh, what do you guys think about the current situation with Dillian White? Eddie Hearns, you know, basically finding a way to bring him back 
into the fold. You know, if you're over, if you're in the UK, what do you think about Dillian White? He passed all his vetter testing, but he failed. Uh, he failed. He failed for Deanna Ball, man. Point blank, a period. He tested positive for Deanna Ball. At least that's what was reported. And there hasn't been any evidence to, to, that's come out that directly refutes the idea that Dillian White tested positive for Diana Ball. Hasn't been any evidence that came out to refute that. So y'all know what it is, man. It's E-King Fight News. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think about Dillian White coming back? And that's all we got for now. Smash the like button. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more boxing. Hey, stay tuned. But for now, we're gone, man. Peace.